like if Liverpool win, or should I say when Liverpool win, that might come back to bite me, but um, you'll have 90 pace, 86 shooting, 91 passing, 92 dribbling, 94 defending, 92 physical. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we've got episode number 243 of the Road to Ronaldinho, completing one of the Champions League showdown SPC, as well as going through league and team of the season. So let's get into it. So yeah, we'll start with league and team of the season. We've got the swapped tokens. They are back out. Um... So that first set was it was it was pretty decent. Um, so let's go take a look at this, the second set. So they are all icon swaps, which we've got to complete soon, uh, and then into uh, okay, they're not there. Ah, they're not live in game yet. They are rumored though on Twitter, uh, but you can get SN and Baggio. Um, also, you have the 84 times 25 too as well. On the right hand side, you'll see the top three players from league and team of the season. Um, as expected, Messi, Mbappe and Neymar, they'll be very, very nice card in game. So let's go take a look at those now. League and squad filter on, team of the season filter on as well. Uh, and then concept players on too. So yeah, Messi, Mbappe and Neymar, all three have 99 dribbling. Messi stats look incredible. Uh, his team of the year was great. It's going to be great as well. Mbappe's play of the month has been great for me. So no doubt this card's going to be unreal. Look at the amount of 99 stats he's got there. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety-nine stats. Very, very nice card. But I think Neymar might be the most expensive of a lot of them. Um, five star, five star probably helps as well. Uh, but again, some very, very nice stats. Obviously, you've got up them three as a front line. You're probably going to win most of your games, if not all of them. Marquinhos is solid as ever. Lovely agility and balance as well, which obviously the run laps. Ben Yedda, his foot captains was great. This card looks great as well. 99 agility and balance, finishing attacking position. Like, this card's pretty sick. Like, Hawk Chem style on him, he's going to be unreal. Hopefully, I can get him uh, for my team. Sure, Menny's going to be incredible. His 82 at the start of the game was great. His Future Stars was great as well. Was it his foot birthday? No, it's Future Stars. Paquetta had the foot birthday. Five star, four star. Um, green across the board. Like, one of the best cards you'll see this year. Um, Lafont is always great. His height plus his stats means he's hard to beat. Payet's probably one of the, the lesser ones. Like, yeah, it's a bit of a throwback, but he's probably got decent stats for what it is. Nuno Mendes is going to be great. Obviously, his uh, foot birthday had five-star skills, but 99 pace. Stick a sentinel on him. He's going to be a, a solid fullback indeed. Uh, we've got Terrier, which is the one of the fodder choices. Um, Fafana is going to be class. His player of the month was so good at the start of the season as well. Uh, Dante is on our objective, um, but again, he's not bad fodder. Guendouzi. And Saliba obviously got the perfect link. When Doozy's uh, winter wild card was very nice. Uh, Saliba's got all the stats you need for a good centre back. Uh, and then you got Klaus as well, um, which again will probably be one of the, the fodder choices from the league and team of the season. So pretty good start. Apparently upgrade packs on Monday are going to be class as well. So there's that uh, team season Dante, which are all around the league and lineup. And we've also got a York moments, um, which is around squad battles and rivals, similar to what uh, Fatty was. We've got the first goal cup, which is quite interesting. Obviously, they're all around gold and goal. Um, so that should be pretty easy to do over the next how many days? Seven days until the end of the season, is it? Oh, is it? oh it's 11 days until the end of the season. So that's here until then. Um, so make sure you do that. It'd be nice and easy, especially if you're a decent player. Um, and I think that was it in terms of that. Um, so yeah, then we got on to SBCs. And one of my favourite cards um, coming through teams in SBCs, the flashback Marco Cabretti. If you remember at the start of the game, I missed out on his rule breakers and it was absolutely class. So to see him get a flashback, He's very, very tempting. I think he's about 250k to complete. Uh, it's an 84, an 86, and an 87 squad. So slightly cheaper than some of the other cards. But that card looks incredible. Um, so if you've got him in your team, let me know how he's gone. But with an anchor, he's going to be... Oh, sorry, uh, a hawk even. It'll be close to 90 in every stat. But you're probably going to put an anchor on a shadow on, really, aren't you? Um, but a very nice card in that midfield. Um, I think that was it for the league and team of the season SBCs. I'll quickly check. We've got a flash challenge, which ends soon. Um, I also got the Champions League World Cup final, which came out as well. Uh, but I think that was it in terms of that. So, before it expires, and before I forget to do it, because I've submitted through the squads already, we are going to complete the Fabinho SBC. Um, I think it's going to be a, a great card, and Liverpool should win tonight. Uh, so, we use Bruno, uh, Trent for Liverpool player, and then some 84s and 83s. Um, away they go, uh, and we get Fabinho's showdown card complete. I personally think it's probably one of the best DMs or defensive centre mids now. So 
if he gets a 94 card, imagine how good he's going to be. Like, if Liverpool win, or should I say when Liverpool win, that might come back to bite me, but um, he'll have 90 pace, 86 shooting, 91 passing, 92 dribbling, 94 defending, 92 physical. He's going to be team of the year Kante levels, which for me is just a, a great, great card. Um, so, yeah, he's going to go straight into the main team and then hopefully Liverpool get the win um, so we can get the 94 card. Rodrigo, before I go into the player picks um, for League and Team Season, we've got some packs as well. I'll quickly discuss Rodrigo. Like he's a little bit cheaper. Um, I think he's about 300 and odd K. It's an 85 and 87 and 88. Obviously, Fabinho had the uh, the second squad of the 86. For me, he's quite similar to the Fatty card. Obviously, he, Fatty won't be as good, but Fatty had 90, 99 pace from what I remember. Can't remember his other stats, but for me, for especially not having a team that features um, La Liga players, it makes sense to go Fabinho over Rodrigo. Because we've already got like similar in Fatty, which would have been more of an impact sub. But he's a very, very nice card either way. And obviously, he has got that five star skill boost. So I know a lot of people have done both. I'm going to stick with Fabinho, unless we get some mad fodder here. Um, so here we've got 24 uh, player picks. I've just done two pages. I was trying to do 50, but I ran out of commons. Uh, so I wanted to save my coins for what Monday's upgrades would bring. And we've got a couple of packs um, to end the episode on as well. We want to see a blue. Will we get one? Probably not. Um, but we'll try our best. Even for like some of the fodder ones, that would be perfect. Or some of them there. Or even just like 85s to 87s. Um, even 84s. We just love the player picks for the fodder they give. Now they're out of um, SBC. There we go. We've got one already. Surprisingly, he hasn't got a team of the season. Um, they always love giving Donna on the special cards. But we've got some good fodder from Donna Rummer there. 89. Can we get a blue to go with him? We'll take some patter, even though we're all the dupes. Yeah, we're starting well with the fodder. Um, hopefully that continues. Um, Coutinho is also going to get a perfect link next year for Diego Carlos. as he uh, agreed to sign. Uh, I'll take Campbell for the non-dupe there. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll skip one, move along along the line. All 81s, none of them we've got. Uh, but yeah, I did use a load of cards. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be at a restart club ahead of Monday. Um, we obviously have 1.7 million as well. Uh, we'll take a Matthew Williams there. So we've only got one walkout so far, which isn't the greatest as we say that we get a second walkout things you absolutely love to see and we should be around halfway done now um so two walkouts in Koulibaly and then Donnarumma uh, on that first page so it, it's a decent return but I'd like to see some special cards now EA um as we get we'll take Nacho I think it might be a little bit easier to link come on we get a special card, but not a blue special card, which you want to see. Also, we just submitted Andre Silva as well, so it's good to get him back in the club. And there we go. Two walkouts in one. It's a shame. It's not a good walkout, but we'll take the 88 inform. I know informs aren't as good at the moment, but I'll take rating over the, the gold Pogba. We'll take a Serbia there. Um, obviously, he's quite a popular one. We'll get a green to um, Estonia if I need to use it. But Estonia could be quite useful for Serie A team this season um, when that comes out next week. More fodder, and it's the PSG goalkeeper um, again. So we got both PSG goalkeepers in these player picks. I think we've got six left to do now. Uh, another walkout, it's Larice. things you'd love to see. Again, helping me stock up the club back on fodder, so whatever will come next. Another walkout, Haaland. Like, we might have saved our luck for the end here. Another walkout, three walkouts in a row. It's a shame it's a Bastoni dupe. Uh, can we make it another walkout? No, we can't. Um, Pretty decent fodder there. Um, can't lie. Hopefully we can end on a blue, but I doubt it at this stage. We've got through 24 now. And the final one is Pedri. So, not too bad. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven walkouts. Obviously, Pistone is a dupe. Um, untradeable, so we'll probably have to discard them and get him back afterwards um, to open the packs. But I'll say that's pretty good from... Uh, 24 player picks. We'll try and see what we can save here. Obviously, Stoney won't be able to. Haaland isn't. Is Navas? He is. Um, and Zapata won't be. So we'll discard them for now, um, but we'll get them back after the episode because um, there'll probably be some more stuff coming around the Champions League tonight and obviously uh, League and maybe we'll look to do Verratti, um, even as a, a like sub. Um, depending on what we get over the next few days with rewards and stuff like that. Uh, but we've got a couple of packs now. We've got three packs to open. Go to Ultimate Pack, Prime Mix Players, and finish on the League and Prime Players Pack. Probably shouldn't have started with the Ultimate, but it has got an 84 guaranteed. And it's not even a walkout. Great. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Cavani, and we've got 16 dupes. So, 
I'll uh, fast forward this part uh, and then back onto opening packs. So they've all been discarded. I've um, got two more packs to open. A trade will one first, a prime mix players pack, which is from the 85 squad from Fabinho. Can we see a blue? We don't. We get boards, which is the same as an ultimate, which is bad value on the first pack. Uh, and it's going to be Grealish. Um, so again, it's tradable, so it's decent fodder at the end of the day. Uh, and then the final pack of today's video. Can we get a blue? From the league and prime players pack. Six rares in here. Come on. Wow. Wow. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. We're getting informed, but that is a horrific pack. Um, it's so, so bad. Um, can we save any of them? We can't, so we'll just uh, go like that. So, I mean, it's not the greatest start to league and team of the season. We have got a few um, fodder uh, walkouts, which would be great for SBCs. But we'll uh, end today's episode by sorting the team out. So we need to take Muller out. Uh, then we'll go on here. Special newest. Um, nope, we don't need Bastoni. We need the man who might be keen tonight's victory if they win, uh, Fabinho. So he's got to come in there um, as that central midfielder. Um, I'm probably going to whack a shadow on him um, just to, to boost his pace mainly, um, especially in that sort of centre mid role. Um, it might be the sort of wrong chem style. I might look to change it um, should he upgrade. Um, but then now when we look at our sort of custom tactics, that 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, um, he's going to be the more defensive midfielder. Uh, De Bruyne playing that box to box with Fakir up top. I did like Alaba. I just think Fabinho is going to be better. Um, and Militao and Diaz are pretty solid. But yeah, like, hopefully we can get Ben Yedda. He'll come up here. Uh, they can sell um, Fakir back on uh, for a little bit of profit. It's going up in price. Maybe we can even get a team of the year Mbappe, a team of the season Mbappe, uh, even in red form. Um, but yeah, normally these are like weekly league episodes, but we're going to skip the first five games and then start playing from tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll have a an upgraded Fabinho buyer then as well. But no idea, they might take a couple of days to update it, even if they uh, even if they don't win. Um, we'll uh, we'll find out tonight. Um, that sort of made sense. Basically, we could have a 94 Fabinho tomorrow. Or they might have lost. And we've still got a, a pretty decent midfielder in the 92. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button. Let us know how you've started the league and team of the season. How many blues have you packed? And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.